In this lecture, we are going to explain how to set splash screen and app icon in a React Native iOS application. Android applications um, we have already discussed. We can just check out how we can do in iOS application. I have already created one project. If you have not created, you can create the project using the command npx react native init splash iOS. So it will create a react native project here you can see i already created that project i am going to open this project in my vs code here you can see the app is here now what i am going to do just cd ios port install so it will install the port installation before that one we can complete the library installation also so here i am going to use one library react native splash screen let us check out the documentation here is the uh, library and you can see the example here first of all what we need to do we need to install the library so we can just copy this one or we can just run this command npm install react native splash screen minus save so it will install the library in our project yes yes now what we need to do go to the ios Port install so it will install the port related to that library also yes you can see analyzing here you can here you can see installing react native splash screen yes splash screen is completed if the application is less than if the react native version is less than 0.60 you need to do this old step currently we are go using Late, we are we are building on a latest react native project we not we don't want to do this old step if the project is less than react native version 0.60 you need to step you need to do this old steps okay so project is completed we can just open the project click open here splash ios workspace yes xcode is opening it is loading splash ios we need to wait for a moment Now what we can do, we can build the application. Yes, application is started building. We can just run uh, replace. Yes, it will take a moment to build. Our application is built successfully. Now what we need to do, we can check, just check out the documentation once more. Here you can see we have completed the port installation. Now what we need, uh, we need to add this in our app delegate.m. So we can just copy this one and here you can see app delegate dot, just paste it here. And then the next thing what they're uh, asking had to this in, did finish launching with option uh, method. So we can just check out that method. Here is the method. Yes, this is the did finish launching method. We need to add splash screen show here. So we have added successfully. Now what they are mentioning, uh, this is for all for Android. We need to add this in our app.js file. So we can just copy this one, paste it here. So as we are dealing with the use effect, what we need to do, uh, sorry, functional component, we need to create use effect method. So we can just create use effect arrow function then an empty bracket so it will treat as it will uh, work as a component in mount so we can just copy this method into that use effect so we can just paste it here fine now we need to import use effect so we can just go here import use effect now if you do not familiar with the use effect uh, uh, you can just check out use effect in react so just go here you can see the usage of use effect here you can see the usage of use effect component did update now component did mount you need to pass an empty array so we have passed an empty array here you can see fine now the next thing what we need to do we need to set up our splash screen for that one what you have to do go to the launch screen dot story file click double click on the file yes 
here you can see the default splash screen we can remove this text double click on that one and click delete splash.ios click delete then you can also remove this constraint and label delete this one now what we need uh, we need to add the images here right for that one what you can do you can see a plus image here click on plus then type image view drag it to here here fine now what we need to do we need to add the image here so for that one what we can do just click on the images the plus button image set so I am going to add one set of image splash okay now we need 1x 2x 3x image so in the my desktop I have already downloaded some images so I can go to splash icon here I can you can see 3 1x 2x 3x so we can remove the SVG for now now what we need to do we can just drag this old file into here you can see I got the splash screen here right now if you need app icon what you need to do you need to set app icon also you can also drag the app icon so I am just dragging my app icon also so just drag it so it will go to the here you can see it will add it into uh, correct location but my sizes are not correct fit that's why it is not fitting to these sizes you can just create 4 into 4 px and 6 into 6 px and 58 into 58 sizes according to your requirement so my sizes are not correct that's why it is coming here 512 pt now the next thing what we need uh, we can just go here we need to add the image here right so click on the image view here in the right side you can see selecting option for image so I am going to select whatever the image I have added I have added splash just click on that one here you can see image is added now you can set the aspect fill it's yes now if you want to change the background color of this view double click on the view here you can see background color just I am changing to another background yes now if I build the application let's see maybe my app icon will not come because my sizes are not perfect let's see what happened image you can set your image in the image sets if you need a full size image you can just drag the images and whatever the changes you need to do in the splash screen you can do because this is a, a full fledged canvas you can you can just drag it you can say you can fit the image completely whatever you need you can do with here because this is a fl uh, fully fledged canvas and also you can just set out the width and height whatever you need and the constraint you can see the constraint left right whatever you need you can just set the constraint also so here whatever the things you can do for the splash screen you can do just we can wait the build to be complete In the application you can see application is building successfully build succeeded now if the application is open you can see the splash screen whatever we have placed is coming correctly right now if I want to change the color of the background to white itself what you have to do go to the uh, lens section launch screen section storyboard here you can see the uh, background color is red so I'm just uh, making this image to center you can also make here also you can just put horizontal vertical center whatever the alignment you can do from here so what uh, what I am going to do here I am going to change the color so go here second tab I think so I need to change the color as before so we can just check out yes here is the color so I am going to change it white itself so we can just change it to white itself yes uh, not in this one we can just change into something if you need custom colors you can just become pick from here here it will come a uh, wheel and the color code whatever you want you can put it here so currently I'm just selecting the white itself we can just select fine okay yes oh it's become blue so we can just white you can choose this white color yes fine 
now we have selected the white color and build once more replace it here it, it will build once more you can see building yes it's built succeeded then app is opening yes i got the image i got the logo as i needed in my splash screen but the problem here it is we have what you have to do go to the images here we need to add the exact sizes so we can just remove unwanted sizes so this is not fitting so we can just remove this one so we need to generate 14 16 58 87 these sizes we need to generate right for that one what you can do just type app icon generator so we can just sorry app icon generator just type in this app icon generator it will navigate into one screen here you can see app icon generator what you need to do select this image go here app icon select the biggest image i am selecting this one 3x then we don't want android for now we need to just uh, ios images so we can just generate so this will generate all kind of images what we need so we can just check out the zip file show in unzip the file so it will expand now you here you can see app store png play store file now inside this app icon set you can see different sizes of image so what we need to do go here open that one so first we need 40 into 40 right so we can just copy this one into here 40 now 16 into 60 so we can just copy this one 16 here now 58 into 58 so we can just search 58 into 58 now what we need 87 into 87 so we can just place 87 into 87 then 18 into 80 so we can just place 18 into 80 then 120 into 120 then if you look here we need 120 into 120 so we can just place 120 into 120 here 180 into 180 so we can just copy 180 into 180 so we have placed all the app icons now we can just build the application once more so let's wait So it will take a moment because we have added a lot of files so we can just wait for a moment now let's see what happened yes now if you look you look into your screen you can